Hello, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. Does everything sound okay? Is the music too loud? Or is it good? Um, we're try I'm trying on a different setup today to where I have my stream on my TV, so I'm looking more at the camera. I gift you a tier one sub, fuck you! I'm broke! It's fine, I'll do it right now. It's good, it's fine, okay, thank you. We had a lot of people in the Just Starting Soon screen, thank you guys for chatting, thank you guys for chatting. I have to gift Crystal a sub, so hold. doing today how's everybody doing you have a slightly different setup i already leaked what it was but i have a second camera for the desk i'm trying a slightly different angle to see what it looks like 
Uh, sorry, I gotta click on... Fuck! Oh, why is it working? The MacBook skin is wood. I like the theme of nature clashing with technology, so that is why I like the wood skin. I almost showed my screen because I wanted to show my keyboard, but I'm not leaking. <laughs> okay, it's loading. It's loading. While we're waiting, everybody go follow my Twitter. I just had a new tweet. Go like the new tweet. Go like it. You don't have to retweet it. Just like my going live tweet. There we go. Enjoy your gifted sub. Have fun with it, hun. Enjoy your gifted sub. Have fun with the emotes. I have to move the alerts. There we go. Now alerts should show up. But enjoy your gifted sub. Okay, so today... As you can see by our title, we are working on ornaments. I have... How many is in here? Uh, wait, two, four, six. I think there's 24 in here. So I have 24 ornaments. I'm not gonna make them all. <laughs> We're gonna... I'm gonna see how many I can make, but it's kind of cute. Because this was like the cheapest set I could get off of Amazon, right? They're all clear, but they have like different textures inside. This one has like glitter, this one has confetti, this one has these little like foam balls, garlands. So they all, it's cool. They all have different textures, but I'm gonna be painting the outside. I'm gonna be decorating my gingerbread house. Oh, it's cute! We can do it together! Adorable. I think I'm gonna be doing gingerbread houses on stream tomorrow, so look forward to that. Um, if you look at this first one, I did a few tests before stream so this one looks wild um so this one i poured paint inside and i shook it because this one has like little foam balls in it and then i tried just a regular paintbrush for this part and then i tried the paint pens which worked surprisingly well and then oh shit i i don't know if i have super glue i might have super glue but i don't have toothpicks to use the super glue but i also have like little gemstones that were five bucks because they're on sale but I got them like two years ago and never used them so now I know that all my materials work that is very good that a big Kirby in the background yeah my sister got it from she didn't get it from GameStop but she just got it online it's like a little inflatable one yeah we're gonna be making decorations for the train I might make themed ones but I honestly want to make some that are like actually pretty you know well, yeah, so I think we can go ahead and get started because today's gonna be a long one. I think I have, oh, I also, because like one of my aunts, because <laughs> every year we get a junk box for Christmas, right? So one year we got like nail supplies, so I have all these like little gems. So I might use those if they're like, because like sometimes with these like nail kits, they'll have the gems that have like a sticker adhesive and then some you have to actually glue on. So, if these are the sticker adhesive, which I think they are, then I'll just stick them on. Okay. So, hmm. Oh, I have water. Okay, I think I have everything ready. So, what color should I do first? Should we stick with, like, Christmas, or should we do, like, any kind of color? Also. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? I posted a TikTok saying, Backseat gamers are annoying. <laughs> And somebody said, calm down. <laughs> it's funny. I know they're fucking trolls, but they're fucking hilarious to me. <laughs> Some guy's talking about XQC. <laughs> oh my god. I'll reply to them later, but they're... I honestly... Anytime I talk about Vaxi Gaming, or women in gaming... I form comments, and it's so fucking funny to me, because that's when all the incels come out, you know? Engagement? I know, right? I know. Um, yeah, so today, we're gonna be doing arts and crafts. I don't know how much I'm gonna be talking, so, you know, feel free, chill, lurk, spam. Um, also, gentle reminder, if you gift a sub, you can put a present under the tree, and if you cheer bits, we'll add more snowflakes to the tree. Wowie wow. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get started now. <laughs> Engagement? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's see. So, stick with Christmas colors? Okay. 
I kind of want to do green first. I made a Kirby ornament in elementary. Nobody knew what it was. Sad. Sad day. Um. I think I want to try and make... I guess... I could try and make a Kirby one. I have to look at... Rep. Where's my phone go? I have two phones. I lost them both. Okay. Might be a bit savage creative plates. I think it's fun. Okay, I'm overwhelmed. What should I do first? Okay, I need to, like, keep in mind... Like, how I'm, like, situated over here. That way you guys can, like, see everything. I'm gonna move these out of frame. That way they don't blind y'all. Make one inspired by the game from yesterday? Maybe. I think what I want to try and primarily do is I want to do patterns that go, like, up and down the whole surface area of the ornament. But my only concern is, like, it's gonna be hard to, like, fold it. Okay, so since I know that the paint cans work, let's start off with those. People are obsessed with the clear bulbs in my job. Yeah, I think you said you had them in stock. I was gonna get them from the Dollar Tree because we have one close by. But I was like, nah, I'll just get them online. And I like it because they have like these little texture things inside. I can always take them out. Cause like I think this ornament set was marketed as uh what you call it? Like a wedding ornament set. And I was like, I ain't getting married. Ever. I remember when I was little, every year we would get clear ornaments and then we'd paint them. We stopped doing that like 10 years ago though. These are metallic. I don't think I need those. Okay, so for each ornament, I'm gonna like sketch up the design concept before it. That way you guys kind of know what I'm gonna do. Okay. I do not have enough space on this desk. I want to get a big, you know, like, executive desk. That's the dream. <sighs> okay, so, for the first one, I kind of want to do rhinestones on the top and bottom around, like this. And then I want to do diamonds that connect like that. Your sister taking the desk. Well, the one she took was, like, smaller than this one. It's just, like, it had some nice shelving. And that's why I was kind of sad about it. So I want to do that. So I think I'm going to have to do... I think I'm going to draw the rhinestones on for... Or, no, draw the diamonds and then the rhinestones. Yeah, the... I decided with the... Oh, I didn't activate this pen yet. Hey, some more time. With the Sacrifice Redemption, I'll keep it active, but I can always temporarily disable it. That way I don't have to manually go into my settings and mess with it, so. If we had our sub go, we'll do Cult of the Lamb. Yeah, I saw clips of people hawk looing their gingerbread house. I think it's so funny. I think it's cheating, but then it's also like, does anybody, like, eat their gingerbread house? I really hope you don't. I love how I said I'm gonna have my stream on my TV so I can see chat, but I'm literally not looking at my TV. You glued your skin with crazy glue the other day? Dude, I'd fucking die. I've done that shit before and it's so scary. You've never made one? What? Make one this time. We're gonna make one tomorrow, so make one tomorrow with me. That way you can parasocially be involved. Okay, um. I think I may need to do the rhinestones first. Okay, because there's different sizes. There's four different sizes. There's like a three millimeter, four millimeter, five millimeter, and then one that's twice the size. So I think for this one, I want to do probably the five millimeter all the way around and then do diamond shapes and then the small ones up top. Gingerbread is gross. I agree. I've never liked it. We've always had to make it for Christmas and I've never liked it. Okay, I need glue. Get those names off the screen. No free clap. Okay, I think I do have super glue, but I don't want to grab it just yet. 
I'll grab it later. So I'm kind of scared. I think the hardest part is going to be sorting all of these. Yeah, I agree. I, I, would, I don't think I've ever eaten from a gingerbread house, because all I can think about is, like, everybody who touched it. Oh, oh, these gems are... Okay. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But these gems, the cuts are different. Like, this one has more cuts, so it looks more intricate, but this one has, like, an octagonal face. Oh, that's going to bug me. It tastes like cardboard anyway. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, when we do gingerbread house making, should I make like a donation incentive to where if we hit it, I smash the gingerbread house? Would that be funny? I feel like it'd be kind of funny. Oh, all these gems are like the wrong size. They're not what I want or need. Okay, this is gonna make me lose my mind. Okay, that's too big. Yeah, all these gems, they're... Oh my god, they're like the wrong size. I think one day I'm gonna have to go through all these and sort them all like a psychopath. Not smashing it. It'd be funny though. It'd be a good gag. I don't think. I'm probably gonna need like eight of these. Oh, I forgot. I should add a timer on screen. That way we see how long it takes. Okay, I'm not. I failed to realize that I have to sort these. When I was young, I, used... I think I used to eat 60 to. 40 to 60 percent of the house. I'm not gonna say it, <laughs> but probably dry as fuck. None of these are the right cut. Oh my god. None, none, in this whole stack, in this whole stack that I'm going through, none of them are the right diamond. I'm already doing a horrible job, Sag. My gingerbread house is going to be really pretty. I have four gems. Because, like, I, I've been saving a bunch of videos on TikTok and, like, how to make the perfect gingerbread house or how to make a beautiful gingerbread house. And I think the best tip I saw is that you decorate the panels before you assemble them. Which is actually... What is this? What is this? Like a little horn. What is this? <laughs> anyway, the best tip I saw is that you was, you decorate the panels before you glue them together. Because it's a lot harder for things to stick if you're fighting gravity. And I was like, oh my god, that's actually so smart. when they sell art supplies like this in just a big box and you have to sort them when you buy the bead kits and they aren't individually sorted you're just wasting your time sorting okay I think I almost have enough pieces now I have I have two, four, six, eight, ten. I think ten should be enough, yeah? What are we making? Ornaments, obvi. Oh, hi, welcome in, Ed. That's actually so smart. Yeah, when I saw the tip, I was like, oh my god. How did I never think of this? Okay, I have tweezers, too. Okay, the tweezers aren't big enough. <laughs> Blue mouth. End me, end me, end me. Okay, good thing I'm not working with super glue. I'd be toast. Okay, 
Okay, now I gotta find the center. There we go, we got one gem on. takes a little bit to dry so I have to be careful not to like nudge it as I work for Christmas or holiday. I think this year I'm going to be spending it with my sister and my roommates. I don't know if I'm going to go home or not. I don't... Because my sister's birthday is two days after Christmas. And then another one of my friends is the, the 26th. So it's like... <laughs> we usually kind of double dip on the holidays. Okay, look at that. It's perfectly lined up. Did you get a cat? No. Because we were supposed to cat sit, right? But then they found somebody else to cat sit, and I was sad. But you know what? It's fine. One day, when I have my when I become a millionaire and I get my own house, then I can get a cat. friend who's the 27th? Uh-oh. Do we know the same guy? Uh-oh. Isn't it kind of weird to think that there's so many people have birthdays that overlap? Anybody? Okay, does anybody remember my birthday? Anybody remember? Okay, right now, I'm putting gems in between. Okay, I just realized they're a little bit crooked. <laughs> Front row. Or maybe they're sliding because gravity. Okay, they could be sliding. June 9th? No. March 25th? Uh, no, you're kind of close though. Switch some of the numbers around. Petition to get Megan a cat for Christmas, but I'd be evicted if I got a cat. And not having a home is really bad. Petition for Megan to be homeless. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think the gems are sliding anymore. Wowie. I'm a fake fan. Yeah. You were here for the birthday stream hacker. How do you not remember? Fake fan. Okay, I think the gems are sliding. I might I might have to use my crazy glue. I have to go find it though. I forgot. Sad. Okay, the gems are sliding. <laughs> For the next round, I'll use my crazy glue. <laughs> Look at that. Is it in March? No. It's not in March. But the digits were kind of close. The gems are sliding, fuck. You know, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. June, no. Isn't it in April? Yes, it's in April. Mac is correct, but what day? Okay, I'm gonna start drawing the diamonds now. I'm so glad the paint pens work. 
because, you know, I like paintbrushes, but they're so hard to manipulate sometimes. Very nice. April 28th? Ooh, you're very close! April 22nd, you're very close! What's your sign? I'm not- it's a Tauros, it's a Tauros. I don't believe in that. Horoscope bullshit. Okay, right now I'm just thickening the lines. Oh, I can make a poinsettia one. I think that'd be cute. April 24th, let's go! Good job! Good job, Giorgio. Giorgio got it. Let's fucking go. Kinda wild how a chatter who doesn't watch many streams got the birthday before everyone else. Kinda cringe. You're the 26? Damn, we we're almost twins. Okay, look at that. We have two little diamonds on now. Down the hangs. Dude, this one slid so much. <laughs> oh no. This one's gonna be cute. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Georgia. Hey, you guys, open a present on Christmas Eve and have a gathering on Christmas Day. Oh, that's so cute. I miss those days. I remember our parents would let us open one gift early. And when I was little, our parents never, like, tried to get presents on their own. They would just give us a budget and then take us to the store and be like, Oh, Santa gave us a hundred bucks for you to spend. You can buy whatever you want. So we always knew which presents were which that were wrapped. So if we knew that, oh, I got this game, we would pick that game. Your dad always has to work on Christmas, so you kind of work around it. Damn. That's the thing that sucks about, like, society. Is that there's always going to be somebody who has to work. And I'm fortunate that all my previous workplaces never made me work on a holiday. Because they were all food service and then daycare. Yeah, I think the daycare was closed on holiday. It still sucks. Shoutouts to all the essential workers. Well, this looks so nice. Okay, I know the colors don't translate well on screen, but it looks very nice. ordering ornaments online like custom ones they were charging like 20 30 bucks and i was like damn but now i get it i mean not that i didn't understand that art should cost a big penny but still like damn My plan was to stream for like 5-6 hours, cause like for our streams I can usually go for longer. But how many ornaments do you guys think I can get done? Should we do a prediction? Talking about predictions, um... If everybody watching right now... Could politely fill up the naughty or nice survey, we've already had 15 submissions, so wow we wow. If you haven't filled out the quiz, do it now! It, it'll take less than 5 minutes. It's hashtag free. <laughs> so do the survey. We'll use it for stream next week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you filled out yours this morning. Okay, now I gotta be careful not to like drag my hand across. 
shit. I this uh, because since I'm drawing or painting on top of plastic, the paint doesn't dry as quickly. Because the way the paint works is that it the surface or the material absorbs it. That's why you can't usually paint directly onto plastic or glass. You usually have to put a sealant on top. So I think if I want to like actually use these herbs next year, I'll have to put like spray. Okay, I made that line way too thick. This will be the back of the ornament. That's gonna be facing the tree. <laughs> Miss Megan. Yeah. That's so cute. Back when I worked at the daycare, everybody called me Miss Megan and I liked it. Hi, potato. Welcome in, hon. Okay, I just realized the diamonds are crooked. The diamonds are crooked. Sound the alarm. Diamonds are crooked. You know, this is our first ornament of the day, so it's fine if it's not perfect, right? Dude, it's so freaking... You're so rich you can afford diamonds? Yeah, I got them cheap. <laughs> Tomorrow's the last day of the semester, let's go! Okay, so let's see. Okay, I think I'm gonna fill in the bottom diamonds and then go from there. Because I might add more designs like in between. My goal is to spend 30 minutes per ornament, that's the goal. So we'll see how long this first one takes, and then we'll do predictions. Ooh, that looks nice. Did you guys see the clip of the guy popping off on somebody who trauma dumped in a Twitch chat? What do you guys think of that clip? Because I heard, I saw a little bit of it on Twitter, and then I watched a Moist Critical's video on it, and I'm like, I can understand not wanting your viewers to like overshare in a chat, but I I had the same take as Moist before I watched the video, but like you could still like not be a dick. Like if someone is vulnerable enough to share, then still be kind to them. It makes chat uncomfy. Yeah, I agree that trauma dumping is cringe to an aspect, to or to an extent. But to me, you can still be kind. Like, I know there's sometimes where people I overshare sometimes. There's sometimes where chatters kind of skirt that line. But I always just give like a gentle reminder, be like, hey, you know, share what you feel comfortable with. And sometimes not everybody can be equipped to handle certain conversations. Like, I would never grill somebody for dumping. Yeah, I think- I'm in graphic design, right? So, there was still, like, required classes. Like, right now, I'm in a physics class, and I have, like, an 85. Because, like, they're open note tests, but I still get the fucking questions wrong, because I, I just... When it comes to math, I'm pretty decent, but when it comes to physic, I, physics, I just lose my mind. I can't do it. I'm not good when I don't have, like, an equation. Like, if I have to memorize stuff, I'm not good at it. Like, theories or concepts, I'm not good. I got glue on the pen. It's getting sticky. Oh my god, graphic design majors, yeah, I get to design website websites and shit. It's actually kind of fun. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I thought I smeared, but I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, exactly, Mac. That's what I try to do when it comes to trauma dumping, but... 
you don't gotta like pop off and make it quote unquote an example of them. That was like, honestly, you're probably traumatizing the chatter even more. <laughs> oh my god. And it's funny, because people like that, or that individual streamer, they were probably a dick before, honestly. Like, if you're gonna be rude or mean to a regular community member, it's like... You know, it's like, eh. Uh. You doing graphic design stuff too? Ooh, what's your favorite? I used to hate Illustrator, but now I kinda like it. I like how you can, like, rasterize images with the image trace, and then you can upload, like, a line art image and color it digitally. I think it's really fun. Yeah. Are you talking about a big streamer? Uh, well... I don't remember if they were part- Oh! I don't remember if they were partnered or not. But they usually average, like, 50 to 75 viewers. Oh, I smeared one. Fuck. Still check? Oh, are you talking about the naughty or nice survey question? I was like, why are you talking about doors? <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, chatters, don't feel bad if you couldn't answer every question and be super nice. I don't think anybody is truly a goody-good. Because I think in order to be like the cliche goody-good, you have to be like a really big pushover. And something that I've learned is that you have to respect your own personal boundaries and not let people walk over you all the time. Okay, now that one's still wet, so I gotta be careful. Oh, this looks pretty from the bottom, look. But <sighs> I'm like, Question. Is it for a stranger or a crime person? <laughs> well, <laughs> I think if you're ever in a situation where you would possibly need to hold the door open for a criminal, like if they're robbing a bank, I feel like it's best just to do it. Like, you don't want them to harm you or get in their way, you know? Just for your own self preservation, I'd probably still hold the door for a bank robber. As long as I'm not seen as an accomplice, you know? Okay. Oh, fuck, I smeared. Wait, I'm good. Hold, I'm good. Okay. Look at that. Okay, you can't really see the design. But it is cute. Let's see what it looks like back here. Wow! You can totally tell what the design is. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna grab my crazy glue and I'll put the rest of the rhinestones on. And then I might add. I, uh, once this dries a little bit, I wanna add like some pattern here in between the gems. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the crazy glue. from like 20 years ago because I stole it from my mom's house and then I have crazy glue I am scared of both
Here, I'm gonna try- wait, I need to sort out what gems I need first. I think I said I wanted to use, like, the smaller ones. Yeah, there's a lot more of these baby ones, thankfully. How's your mom's mansion? Very nice. I don't visit it often, but it is very nice. Okay, why is this one like a charcoal gray? That's not right. Okay, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. I need at least 16. Okay, I'll get a few extra. Okay, I'm gonna try the crazy glue. What doesn't hurt the glue? I am like deadly afra afraid of crazy glue. I haven't used this glue in like a year. So, the pin is supposed to stay in this green nib and the pin came out. Oh no. Ah, uh, this might be toast. Okay, I have to get my pliers. Fuck me, dude. The can't see it, but like the pin is stuck in the nozzle. This is fucking stupid. I don't know if my pliers are strong enough because they're like eating pliers. I'm not strong enough. I'm weak. It's gonna get glued into it, yeah. Because the, the pin is stuck. Oh. oh my god! It's- it's stuck! It's stuck! <laughs> no. Oh my god. I'm using, um, you don't know his players. How many times have you gone live on TikTok? A few. I haven't gone live since, like, my birthday. Oh! Oh my god, I got it! I got it! Holy moly! Okay, we're just gonna leave that. Dude, I am fucking strong! Okay, now I assume the glue, like, dried in the nozzle. Oh, yeah, it's... Because you know when you squeeze it, it's supposed to, like, give in? It's not giving in. It's... it's done. Yeah, this... Damn it! Okay, that one is done. That one is not gonna work. Well, maybe I can use this pin... ...to spread the other glue. Crafting with Megan. Because I don't have any toothpicks in the house. 
Because every time I do, like, errands, I'm like, oh, I should get, like, toothpicks and thumbtacks, and I keep forgetting. Okay, I have a thumbtack now. No, it, it's like, it, it's solid. It's like rock solid. <laughs> I wanted to- ah! I heard a pop, I heard a pop. Okay, now it's giving in, but I think it's all- All the- all the blue's back here, but it's like solid. It's not- it's not giving. Ah, it's over. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. So this one, like I said, this blue is like 10 years old. Yeah, made in 2005. <laughs> Heat it up? Nah, that's crazy, dude. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. So, like, to use this glue, I usually just poke a hole in it. And then I squirt it out. I should get some nice glue, huh? Okay, we're not. that one's not working either. It's busted. GG's. Heat up? No, it's scary. That's scary. I'm a wimp. Okay, I guess we gotta use the glue that's gonna slide. I just have to use like a dab. Guys, I'm so prepared for stream. That glue is older than some chatters. <laughs> Wait, how old would that be? 17? Right? Yeah, 17. Damn. Damn. That's crazy. Get back to work. We've stalled. What? We're at 40? Dude. 30 minutes for ornament. Copium. Okay, I'm just putting the tiniest dab of glue. Um, type 1 if you're having fun. I'm having fun. I like crafting. Two thousand and five. Ew. Don't be ages. Come on, dude. Maybe I should. Oh shit. I should just not do gemstones. You know how like getting things bejeweled was a trend like a year ago. Oh, like the bitches with the bejeweled Starbucks cups? Oh my god. They were tacky as all hell. The cups, not the girls, of course. If you're a teenager, just grow up already? That sounds like somebody who had to mature too quickly. Sag. Stop projecting, Matt. Okay, we got rows of gems on the bottom. I <laughs> joke, maybe I should put that shit. No, we know you're trolling. We know you're trolling. I mean, like, in the chat, I like to assume everybody's joking. Like, I genuinely hope nobody's, like, actually being mean. I mean, there's been a few times where I've had to, like, give people gentle manners. Like, oh, don't name call too much, you know? Or don't say that I'm trash or you're trash because that's mean. paint by the number like blank canvases but use the jewels i swear i swear i came up with that idea before it was popular okay i remember i had a dream i was like oh my god i should try and make that one day and then i never did and then i saw somebody do it online like a year later and i was like they copied my idea that i had in my dream a year ago Okay. 
We have all the gemstones on now. I think I want to add maybe red. I want to do like a big diamond in between the center gems. I need to get red. Am I a good chatter? Because I've never peace I too smile. Um, probably. I mean, we'll see you next Friday. Of course, during the Naughty or Nice stream. Tune in next Friday. Oh, with the pre-rinse question. Okay. What, what I mean by that is like, let's say you have lunch at home. Like, do you leave your dish in the sink? Or before you put it in the sink, do you rinse it? Because I know for me, I usually do dishes at the very end of the day. So I don't wash throughout the day. How am I going to do this? Oh wait, I kind of want to do circles instead. I don't want to do diamonds. I think changing the shape would be interesting. Okay, this is very scary. Okay, I'm going to fill in the circle shape though. I'm going to make it big. smell good. They smell like alcohol. Like rubbing alcohol. Oh, if you have, eat something with peanut butter, you better wipe that shit off with a paper towel. Because it's so oily, it does not come off well. like that smell something's wrong with you then if you like the smell of alcohol then you should be a doctor I guess how to draw circles well um practice easy okay what's kind of nice about the plastic is that since it's not absorbing the paint it kind of gives it this almost like translucent look Because, like, I feel like all crafters, they have phases in what they like. I want to have a stained glass phase. Like, I want to make stained glass. I think that would be really cool. But then it's like, what's the utility? It's just for decorative purposes. And it's kind of hard to make stained glass be, like, super expressive because you're kind of limited by the material. But I still think it'd be fun. Yeah, uh, Christmas music is copyright because um, people can copyright their specific recordings of songs. So even if the melody is is copyright free, you'd have to record your own version of it in order to play it without issue. It's kind of like how people copyrighted Happy Birthday. It's like that. last circle
Okay. Looks a bit more filled in now. And some of the gems slid, but that's kind of unavoidable at this point. So I don't have any other glue. At least it's better than Elmer's, you know. Oh, these gems slid a lot. Okay. What should I do next for this one? Because, like, white is still, like, the majority color, right? Okay, let's hold it still so we can actually see. I think I want to add, like, lines going like this. It's probably green, just to accent it, because if I do red, it'll be a bit too much. gonna be like an arrow shape. Like that. <laughs> How do I check if I made a clip? Um, you can't access the clips you've made on mobile, but if you go to Twitch desktop and you click on your profile icon and then video producer, There'll be a tab for to see the clips that you've made. I don't think there's any way to view it on mobile, unfortunately. Mobile Twitch is getting better, but it still will never compare to desktop. I am so excited to do the gingerbread house tomorrow. It's gonna go crazy. Crazy in the sense of it's gonna look beautiful. The only thing that I'm kind of scared of is that I haven't used like frosting tips in a while and I don't think I have any. Because I, I think I'm just gonna use the default frosting that comes with the kit. What time is it? It's almost time for an ad in 30 seconds after running an ad. So thank you, Potato, for easing me into that. But if you wanna avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5, skip your coffee, and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime available, and if you're new here, follow the channel. If you're watching and you aren't following, fucking follow, then you can tap a channel and hang out with everybody. Look at everybody. Everybody say hi. They're nice, right? Okay. If you don't want to watch ads, subscribe, easy clap. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Oh, I also need to upload a TikTok. Remind me. Next ad break, I'll upload a new one. So it smells nice. Okay. Very nice. Random. Raw XD random. Okay, my lines aren't as straight as I want them to be. They're getting kind of crooked. Oh my god. I got like no sleep last night. Because one of my friend's siblings had to go to the ER and they couldn't go with them. So I was like texting my friend back and forth to like kind of keep them company. And I was up till 2, but their sibling didn't get home till 5, because they texted me at like 5 in the morning, and I woke up to a text. And I was like, damn, I feel bad. So I stayed up late talking to them just to make them feel a bit better. Okay, the red stands out a lot. Why is it engaged? I didn't do anything gauge. I don't think, right? <laughs> I mean, I 
never know. Yeah, so I'm very tired. I almost was gonna bring out the PNG tuber model setup today. I was like, nah. Let's try a different POV. We might do this POV cam for tomorrow's gingerbread house stream, because I don't know if I wanna set up in the kitchen just yet. I don't know, I gotta think about it. But the table in the kitchen has so much more space. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to stream the kitchen tomorrow. I mean, it's no biggie. The lines? Oh, because they're not straight. Got it. <laughs> I like the POV. Okay, I'm glad it looks nice. I have to, like, make sure I'm, like, in frame, though. Because I, I need to work on that. I just want to save up for the nicer camera. I mean... Probably not gonna get it till maybe February at this point. To Sag, disability didn't get approved. I'm gonna go home, and cry, Dad. But you know what? It's fine. Maybe I can like get food stamps. Cause I think in order to be eligible for food stamps, it calculates your household income. So maybe. Why? It's funny. I called and. I was like, can I check my status of my application? Because I couldn't access it online because it's an error. And they were like, oh, it got denied. And I was like, oh, why? And they were like, well, you don't have a disability. Come out. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, I'm trying to get a diagnosis. And they were like, well, you don't have a disability, so you can't get benefits yet. I was like, oh, sad day. Three months wasted. But it's fine. It was expected. It was like a... It was like a... Probably like a 10% chance I get denied. I was just in that 10%. But, you know, the way I see it, since I got denied, hopefully somebody who's actually more fucked up than me got the benefits they need. They got that 300 bucks, hopefully. And I think it's because I applied near the end of the year. Because usually they give up more benefits at the start of the year because it's, it's easier to budget. Like, they're not scraping by the end of the year. But it's fine. I've, I've accepted it. It's my fate. I'm just gonna have to farm more when I stream. So when I show primes, you guys have to give me your primes, okay? And I have to get the art channel up and going. And start selling. So... I think this one's nice. Should I add more? I kind of want to add a red detail at the points. Like maybe a dot or something or a line. I think I'll do a line just to fill in the blank space a little bit. My hand is getting sore like holding this though. So I'm gripping it so hard. Insert joke here. Yeah, I'll do a line and a dot. Or a diamond. There we go. Very subtle. But just to fill in that little bit of clear space. Do you have more Christmas trees in your house? Nah, we just have this one. We have the baby one. But we don't have it turned on or decorated. We just, like, have it sitting in the living room. Because <laughs> I told my sister, I was like, since I can use this big one for stream, I'll let you use the baby one. And she's like, okay. Oh, um, what do you guys want to do for the Santa watch stream? Like, what activities do you want me to do? Like, I have ideas for some, but is there anything you guys want to see? Because it's going to be, like, a longer one. Because we're going to be waiting for Santa. Oh my god, hi Emmy people, hey! Welcome in, hon. Hope you're doing well today. 
I feel bad because I saw Emmy was live last night and my doctor, because I went the other day, right? They were like, you need to go to bed at 8. And I was like, okay. So I can't watch any more of Emmy's streams and I feel bad. I was like, this is bad, man. Oh, welcome in, hon. Okay, so I added little red details for the bottom section. Bed at 8 nice? It's not nice. I hate it. I mean, I stayed up late last night because I had to, but I just- I can't, like, watch anything late. Because, like, I told myself, like, I can answer, like, text messages and stuff, because I feel like that doesn't bother me as much, but I can't, like, watch videos past 8. So I'm gonna, like, gradually ease myself into no screen time past 8. What time do you wake up? 8. It's because, like, I have difficulty falling asleep. I, I tried, like, putting more blankets on, and I think I need to, like, save up for a weighted blanket, because I noticed when I had more blankets on me, I fell asleep a little bit quicker. What are you talking about preschool, huh? Yeah, I might have to do, like, a sleep study in February. Which sucks. Because <laughs> my dad has gotten one done, and he says it's just awkward. Like, you just have, like, doctors watching you sleep, essentially, and it's weird. Because I've been told that I snore, and I didn't used to snore when I was little. It was only a recent development. There was one time I fell asleep on the couch in the living room, like, watching TV, and my sister was like, Oh my god, you started snoring. I was like, oh, that's awkward. Everything that tracks my sleep? That's what my doctor recommended, too. Any recommendations for free sleep tracking apps? Because the one she recommended me was like, she's like, oh, it costs, like, ten bucks a year. I was like, I don't have ten bucks. <laughs> And she's like, oh, well, essentially all it does is that, like, it records the sounds when you sleep. I was like, well, I was like, maybe I can try, like, record myself on my phone and then, like, edit the footage or listen to the footage when I wake up, like, in Premiere or something. That way I can see the audio takes it. She's like, oh, I guess that could work. <laughs> she's like, yeah, if you're, like, crafty like that, I guess you could do that. I was like, okay, I'll try that. Or I was like, maybe I can record it in like OBS and just cross my fingers and I don't accidentally click go live. <laughs> I was like, I can do one of those things. <sighs> okay, I think this one's done. I'm gonna bring it up close up to the HD camera in a second. But very nice. How long did that take? Now that took about an hour. <laughs> Um, let's do target 45 minutes per ornament. That's the target. But, okay, I'll get up to the camera in a second. Wowie, I was here. First ornament done. gems are just about done drying. So I think we can put it on. Okay, 
that's hitting it, and that's gonna bug me. There we go, very nice. First one done. Okay, let's do predictions now. 40 My goal is 45 minutes per ornament. I think 45 minutes is doable. Oh, you can actually see it on camera, wow. Okay. <laughs> let's do 45 minutes. <laughs> I want I want to make at least 4 or 5 today. For the gamblers. Okay, my new favorite Twitch mode, or it's not Twitch, it's 7TV, but it's Ain't No Way. It's so funny to me. Okay, we'll keep it open for five minutes. Okay, go Gamba. Do you think I'll get this next ornament done in 45 minutes? Go. Okay, I'm not doing rhinestones for this next one. Not worth taking too long. the ones down here. I'm gonna dump these out of my bed. I, I I can't fit my hand in. There's like a bunch of glitter in the box and I dumped it all over my bed. Sad day. I'm gonna have to vacuum later, but we don't have a vacuum, so I'm gonna have to sweep. Damn! Damn, damn, damn. Okay, for this one, I think I'm gonna actually try and paint. Or maybe I can still use the pens. Pens will be easier, because I think I want to do like long oval shapes. Or maybe like half ovals all the way around. But I want to do like oval, I'll, okay. I'll do pens. Oh, that one's not open. Okay, let's see. One fourteen, so I have to finish by two hours uptime by the next ad break. Okay, I think what I want to do is I want to do like ovals all along the top and the bottom and I'll do a ring of circles around. But I'm going to make the ovals different widths. That way, it's not like perfectly symmetrical or anything. I'm gonna thicken the lines a little bit. I think a wood grain texture would be kind of pretty. I feel like I should have done the circles in the center first. That way I can have like a consistent line for the top. Is anybody going to be making ornaments themselves this year? I personally like... 
like the felt ornaments. I remember doing, oh my god, for holiday every year, our elementary school, they'd have like a holiday night where they'd bring parents over, they'd have food and like little tables to where kids could do, could do crafts. And like, you know those little like craft kits for ornaments that came in the little plastic bags and you had to like glue felt or bead something really simple? I like those kits a lot. You only bake for Christmas? What do you bake? We usually, um, we do cookies and we mail them to family members. I don't think I'm going to be doing that this year. I don't know if my mom's going to do it either because it's just going to be her. Well, no. Um. But I know we're doing the cake pops. We might make some for our neighbors as well since we're new. You know, gotta butter them up. Sugar cookies? That's nice. I always love decorating cookies. It's my favorite part. Like, you know the cookie decorating streams with the sprinkles? That's always super fun to me. It's like super relaxing as well. I know baking isn't really like holiday stuff, but it's like the thing I'm looking most forward to besides, <laughs> besides the naughty or nice stream. It looks like a flower almost. Like a clamshell. You know, I gotta do. I think I'll draw the red circles. Well, actually, I wanna. I think I wanna do. The same thing on the bottom here, and then maybe green circles, and then fill in the inside with like red details. My favorite part is eating them. Of course, of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Honestly, valid. I want to try baking because I heckin' love sweets. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. But I need to like cut back. Like I'm I'm gonna try and only eat healthy things for snacks. Like I've been doing pretty good. Like sticking with my three meals and you know having my cashews for a snack. Last weekend we went to the Cheesecake Factory, right? Dude, they were so good. Overpriced as heck. But the actual, like, filling was amazing. Because I've had Cheesecake Factory before, but I only had, like, the cheesecake. I didn't try, like, the entrees. But their actual cheesecake is really good. Yeah, I think the life hack if you do go to Cheesecake Factory is if you order a slice of cheesecake, it's cheaper to get it for dining. Because if you order it from like the checkout bakery desk, it costs a dollar more. So what my sister and I did is we ordered dessert first. So she, my, I got a slice of cheesecake and she got a slice of cheesecake and cake. Fucking pigo. <laughs> Dude, she's skinny as fuck so it don't matter. And I remember the waiter was like, are you sure you guys want that much? And we were like, yeah. <laughs> and we, it's okay. It took us forever to be served because it took us 
30 minutes for us to get the slices of cheesecake and then an hour an hour 15 after we ordered our entrees to be served our entrees is crazy it took a long ass time it's kind of disappointed honestly but they were very busy and it was a saturday at like one o'clock so they were obviously packed but still an hour holy moly What is considered a decent price for food? Ooh. Ooh, it depends. Um, I think in order for you to determine how much you're willing to spend on takeout is you have to do grocery shopping yourself. That way you can kind of understand how much food cost is. Because when you go out to eat, you're essentially paying for the person who's making it. So... That's why it costs like 15 to $20 for a decent entree. Because every cook can only make so many entrees every hour. Oh, I'm asking because you see a lot of takeout is overpriced. Well, okay, example. You go eat at a sit-down place. You get a just a baked chicken breast, twenty dollars, with a side of rice and veggies, twenty dollars, right? Minimum twenty bucks. You usually charge like twenty twenty-five for a plate of food. You go to the store. You buy like a ten pack of boneless chicken breasts, ten dollars. Ten dollars for a ten pack. Granted, food cost varies by where you live, but check-in is usually fairly inexpensive. Depending on what, like, cut you get, or what part. Um, rice, you buy a whole big old bag. Easy. And veggies, you can buy frozen, big bag, easy. So you're maybe spending... Maybe? $15, $20 to buy, like, 10 servings? And then you go to a sit-down place, spend $20, $25 for a very small serving. I think Cheesecake Factory is well-priced. Oh, it's really overpriced. It's really overpriced. 18 bucks for a club sandwich? Insane. I mean, it could be because minimum wage is higher in my area. It's a waste when you don't live with many people. That's why you free shit you give. When I buy meats, I usually... You, you only keep in the fridge what you're going to use that week, and then you freeze the rest easy. Because as long as things are stored properly in the freezer, they'll last a long time. I'm gonna do green circles to fill the center part. I'm gonna do them thinner though. I think especially doing like all the grocery shopping on my own now, I can easily see how restaurants are able to stay open even if they aren't too busy. Cause they charge so much. It just wastes space? Oh my god, why are you bringing up the wasting space argument? That's D-O-M! Oh my god. You're crazy. I will never justify... <laughs> I will never say that eating out is better than cooking yourself. I will never argue that point. I think Mac is just trying to like justify their desire to not want to ever cook. <laughs> if I could buy in smaller portions, I mean, you could consider, like, getting the meal prep programs, like, you know, HelloFresh, that type of thing, to where they mail you individual portions. And I, I feel like those programs are good for people who don't necessarily know how to cook yet, or know how to, like, properly budget. And it's very easy because you obviously get shipped, like, your actual portion size. And the 
exact amount of what you need and you can easily budget out like how much your food is going to cost for the week or the month. So I think if you're hesitant to like do full on grocery shopping, consider subscribing to those programs. They may seem like they're expensive, but $5 per meal ain't bad. It ain't bad. Like considering like if you go to Wendy's and get lunch, that's going to be like 15, 20 bucks. I think the biggest thing that people, or one of the bigger reasons why people gravitate towards getting fast food or getting the meal prep programs is to save time. Like especially if you work long hours or if you have kids, it makes sense to want to be able to get something easier to save time. Yeah, that's kind of the boat I was in as well, Mac. Like, my mom would bitch if I got a tub of yogurt and wanted to keep it in my fridge. Like, they didn't like how I was trying to, like, cook for myself, and it was hard. So, my sister had a mini fridge in her room that she let me use to, like, put my snacks in. grocery store they would sell things in smaller portions but I don't think it's ever gonna be cost-effective to shop that way in person because the main thing you're paying for when it comes to buying things at the grocery store is like the people packaging and shipping the actual product because for example if somebody has a farm the majority of their budget is gonna go towards maintaining that farm or buying the actual like base plants so a lot of things are like first time purchase, like buying trees or shrubs, but their biggest expense is going to be paying off the workers that tend the fields or the farms. And the glory and also downfall about American like farm infrastructure is that since a majority of the industry is undocumented or migrant workers who are getting paid minimal wages, that is the only reason why cost is so low, or that they're able to outsource work to out of the country to where wages are lower, like slave wages basically, right? So, where was I going with this point? <laughs> I forgot where this point was leading. Um, fuck, I, I genuinely forgot. I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm being a fucking lib right now. Anyway. It will never be... Oh, the reason why it's cheaper to buy things in bulk is because it's less packaging and less processing for the actual company. Like, you know when you go to, like, Walmart or Winko to say, like, oh, five cents per pound or something. And then when you look at something that's in a smaller package with a smaller serving size, it'll say like 10 cents per pound. It's because it takes more money to process more things. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I agree. Costco bulk is crazy. That's only if you got like, I would say five or six people in your household. And then it'd be kind of good to invest in a Costco membership, but otherwise you're buying way too much. Yeah, what's nice is that we have our fridge freezer, and then we have, like, one of those box freezers in the garage, so we got lots of space. Okay, I have 30 minutes. Easy. Now, what should I do now? I think I want to do like red circles in the center. Or maybe I can do hearts. Hearts would be cute. Let's do hearts.
hearts because I love no one. I only love the game. tell you guys um if you're not following follow the channel easy clap you get to have a chat and if you're already following make sure you have notifications turned on because only 70 percent of you guys have them turned on so if you don't want to miss a single stream smash that bell easy clap dude i did that perfect that time i'm a pro Yo, we don't have a pantry in this duplex, and it fucking sucks. Like, I have to use my cupboard space for storage of food, and I don't like it. I might get, like, a... Or I might convince my sister <laughs> to get, like, a small cabinet or something. of my things on the counter because we have the kitchen space is actually pretty big so we got lucky with this place that we got but it's still like not big enough <laughs> it's because like i'm used to like living in a house right so, like i'm used to having a bit more space granted the house in my or the kitchen in my mom's house is very cramped very crowded but it's still it had a lot of cupboard space it was cool because in the cupboard, it had like a lazy Susan in one section, so we were able to put like, that was basically our pantry, and it was like really nice. But it definitely maximized the space. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna have to do for the kitchen setup, whenever I stream or whenever I do like a lot of prep, I just have to move the dining table into the kitchen. That way I have like a makeshift prep table. details I want to add to the center yeah the it's not like a separate room it's basically an open kitchen so like the downstairs area is like a large room that has the dining room kitchen and living room so there's no like dividers but it's kind of nice I like having it open because we, we can see the TV from the dining room table so we can like watch shows <laughs> okay I think I want to do like dots on the opposite ends of these ovals. Reminds you of the Grinch, huh? Isn't there a scene in like the original animated Grinch where he has like the heart pumping out of his chest? And then he dies? Oh wait, that's that's the abridged version. <laughs> the kitchen's in the center of the entire house. You know what I genuinely don't like about this place? The walls are thin as fuck. So like if somebody's using the bathroom, you can hear it. I I hate it so much. I hate it. I mean like it doesn't bother me, but it's still like weird. It's very weird. And like, I have to whisper because you can hear people when um, you're like upstairs or downstairs. Like there's been a few times, cause like, I, there's usually always somebody home with me. Um, so there's been a few times where I've streamed and my roommate would be like, oh my God, I heard you. And I was like, oh, cringe. <laughs> my whole family can hear me yelling over games, dude. 
I feel bad. That's why I don't stream in the evening time is because that's when most people in the house go to bed. Like my sister, she has to be in bed by 7 because she works in the morning early. So I, I try and be respectful of that. Oh my god, Undertale! Ain't no way. Bro, if my sister comes home and the first thing she does is try and scratch one of these ornaments, I'm gonna scream. I swear to god, she's gonna do that. She's such a little troll. Oh, you know how I told you guys I bought her a tea set? Or some tea bags the other day? I forgot to wrap it and she came into my room and I had it face down on my bed and she looked at it. She's like, what's this? And I was like, oh. Well, that was supposed to be for you. And she's like, oh, why didn't you wrap it? I was like, well, I was gonna wrap it later, but I forgot. And she's like, oh, it's your room. And she's like, well, it's your fault that you didn't wrap it in time. And I'm like, yeah. But it's whatever. It's fine. Why would she do that? Because she's a fucking psycho! Nah, she's nice. <laughs> she's just kind of clueless. The red doesn't stand out as much as I thought it would. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything like I want to add to this one. Because my goal with this one is just to try and fill in as much space as I could without completely filling in. I think this one's good. I think this one's solid. Okay, let's stop the timer. I got that one done in... 24 minutes. Not bad. 45 minutes or less? Yes, I did. But this design was simpler. I'll make the next one more complex. Okay, I gotta... I'll get close-ups done in a second. Get fucked, doubters. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> had to upload a new one. That did not feel like 45 minutes. No, it wasn't. It was 24. So I did good. I speed ran that one. So let's get a close-up. This one is definitely simpler. young and dumb. What does the first one look like? Um, you can zoom in. <laughs> Somebody clip the first ornament. Clippers, get on it. We'll, we'll look at them all again at the end. People like that drive me crazy, yeah. They're insane. Okay, next ornament. This one has little iridescent confetti in it. 
We're starting this one at 140. So target for this one. Let's do target 30 minutes. New prediction, new prediction. Target 30 minutes. So I have to finish by 210 uptime. Got it. Okay. I know I said I liked angular designs. Hmm. I kind of want to work with the shapes that are inside the sphere because these are strips of cellophane. Hmm. Piece I2. Maybe I can try using these gems. Let's see. There's not many. I'll try using these nail gems. Toothpick? No way. I had one all along. Okay, these do have adhesive on them. But it's not very good adhesive. And not all these gem designs are the same. I have so much glitter on my hands. I don't like that. Yet. Okay, cause see how there's like different pattern variations? Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see. Oh, there we go. Let's say. I think for this one, I'll make it look like the dots are cascading down. Oh, that's crooked. That's really crooked. Oh, oh no. This adhesive is actually pretty durable. First one on. The texture of this? I th I think it's fine. Oh shit, I do. The adhesive is so nice and I just wiped it off. Okay, now I gotta find the other center point. Dude, that's like perfectly lined up. Very nice. Oh, that's way too high. Okay, very nice. Dude, I like these gems. They're sticking so well. Okay, this one's a bit crooked. Or is that one crooked? Oh, this one's a bit too low still. Ah, it's fine. If it's crooked, it's, it's fine. We ain't selling this shit. Would you buy one of my ornaments? Type one. Any buyers? Oh, 
Oh, dude, that's way too high. Oh my god. It'd be cool if I could, like, visualize grid lines in my head. That'd be a really cool superpower. <laughs> Two? <laughs> what is the badge? Oh. Uh, Twitch made an update about six months ago to where they show badgers next to your name if you- Next to your name? If you put believe or doubt in the predictions. It's pretty cool, so I can see who's a hate watcher or not. <laughs> okay, this one is way too low. So crooked! Oh my god! Oh, you know what would have? What you know? Fuck! You know what? What would have been a smart idea is if I ran like tape along. That make you get a straight line. That would have been devilishly smart. Yeah, this one's still too close. This one is way too high. Too high. Uh, good thing I'm not gluing. Okay, there we go. All better, all better. <laughs> the comments on your recent TikTok make me giggle. Yeah. I haven't replied to them yet. I want to let them fester. <laughs> but none of them are, are like too mean. Like, the only comments that I will delete on my TikTok is, like, anything that refers to my mumbling, because that's just fucking annoying. And if they're, like, very, like, outwardly or underlyingly sexist, then I have to delete them. Because being sexist is bad. Who knew? Yeah, I saw that thread. It's funny. <laughs> um, actually... <laughs> if you guys want to know what we're talking about, go follow my TikTok, Peace in 17 Clips. That's my main Clips account. It's the only official account. Are there any, like, knockoff Peace in accounts? I don't think so. I don't think I'm clouded enough for that shit. Any Clippers? Oh, no. I just tore the gems off. There was a time where I wanted to be a nail artist, but then I realized how actually hard it is. And I decided not to pursue it. Designs that people request for nail art is like insane. Like the intricacy that you need to do is way too much. Okay, I like this up a lot better. So I have this gem. It's black with a large clear diamond underneath, and then this one is black with two small above and below. So I did the larger ones lower, and then the smaller ones higher up. And then I'm gonna do lines cascading from the top. Should I do black? I'll do black. Thick pen. I like them thick. I'm talking about shakes, of course. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna do a diamond shape. And then fill in. So you can fill in some of the negative space. Then a line cascading. Still haven't played the new tracks, bro. Get on it. You gotta practice. How can you call yourself a peace in underscore 17 fan and not play the Mario Kart tracks? Fake fan. I hate debate lords. I hate contrarians. I'm a contrarian myself and I'm trying to fix my ways. I don't like the people who feel like they have to be right all the time or they feel like they have to defend everything they're saying. And it's different if you're trying to do it in like an explanatory way, but if you're doing it to be like to be defensive or put yourself on top, that's not cool. Like I said, I'm trying to like unlearn that because I've been told many times that I'm like snarky or a one-upper, but I think that's because I've gone through so much of my life feeling like invalidated, whether it be at home or at school, so I kind of feel like I have to put up that shield. But as an adult, I feel like I'm trying to ease back on it a little bit. cascading down, but then I'll add like red either dots or lines to the outside of the diamonds. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to be as well, Mac. Like, once you're able to be like self-aware enough to where you can acknowledge it and try to change, I think that's, you've come to the point where you're learning and reflecting. Because I am very, I was very much a debate lord. I still kind of am, but I just have to learn when to hold back a little bit. Oh shit, that light is so crooked. Oh. details now. Yeah, I agree, Mac. I totally agree. And I feel bad because sometimes you get to a point with, like, friends or family where that's all they really think of you as, and it's hard to change that. You could say reputation.
now I'm going to add some red details. I think I'll add... Actually, I want to add diamonds. I was going to do just big dots, but I think diamonds would look cute. tiny diamonds to the ends of these black cascading, cascading lines. shape a little bit more. So I don't want it to be like too overpowering. I don't want it to take over the black shape. Remind me to get some water in a few minutes. So I don't have my water by my desk today. I'm glad I'm able to do holiday streams this year. Because around this time last year, I was at like about four to six months of streaming and I was feeling burnt out because like nobody was watching, but that's normal with someone who has no platform, right? And I'm just glad, I'm genuinely glad, no matter how many people watch, to think there's people who watch every stream people who chat or lurk in some streams. It's nice to know that people like what I do to want to spend time to hang out. Because this year I was debating or not whether I wanted to do holiday streams, but knowing that people will take the time to enjoy the holiday streams with me is very nice and comforting. Like, I was thinking about that this morning um, when I was debating if I wanted to do like 2 cam or PNG tuber setup today. I was like, no, I want to feel like I can connect with people more because the PNG tuber is definitely more comfortable, but it's just not the same, you know. I have returned, welcome back. You have returned, but you know what? Also, it's time for. It's time for me to run a few minutes of ads because, guys, we are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad for viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime, Prime sub available. After the ad, we're going to keep on working. I have 10 minutes to get this one done. So... Anyway, if you don't want to see the ad, subscribe easy. I just uploaded a new TikTok, so go like it, leave a comment if you have to watch those ads. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Get some water, get a snack. I'm gonna get some water as well. The PNG feels like when you dissociate and someone is talking to you, yeah. I mean, I'm still gonna use the PNG tuber for the art streams. It's just, it, it encourages me to like concentrate more. Um, but it, for main channel, I'll try and use it minimally. Like on days where I just don't wanna be on cam. It, it is nice to have like something I can like fall back on. Hmm, should I add more? I kinda like how this one has a bit of empty space though.
Can I put something like cascading from the bottom? I'm thinking. Because I don't want to like add too much. Did you put glasses on the model? No, I didn't. I think it's funnier that I don't have glasses. I like the head cannon that my PNG tuber got lazy. pretty solid because I think it's at a point to where the only thing I can really add to that I can think of is put more black up here. Maybe connect a few of the lines. Yeah, I think I'll do that actually. I have seven minutes! Oh, that one's not open. Wasted five seconds. I think I'll connect a few of the lines up top here. That way it'll give it like a zigzaggy look. Fill in the top entirely. Fill in some space. I think I'll fill in the top completely with black. Because, like, when there's more solid space, it kind of gravitates your eyes to look to that area, right? And I kind of want the look for this one is you look at the top first and then guide your eyes down. I'll do that. Oh yeah, that looks much better filled in. I think I just needed to like get the shape down first with the lines. Because the way that I kind of concept out a lot of my graphic like patterns, you could say, is I usually make a grid, like if I'm working with like a rectangular or circle plane, I usually draw diagonal lines connecting the corners to each other and then vertical lines dividing the plane into half, quarters, eights, to see what type of patterns I can get with that type of alignment. much better filled in. For sure. I kind of want to add white. Outline this part with white. It'll make it pop. It'll stand out for sure, but I think it'll look cool.
kind of too late. <laughs> I crystal, yeah. Kobo was talking about that too, it's funny. We love the debate frogs. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna reply to tic or TikTok comments after stream. I usually don't reply to stuff during the live. I might reply with just valid <laughs> and just leave it at that. Cause I think it'd be so funny. Them using them writing their 500 word essay and I just put valid. I think that'd be funny as shit. Because, like, I don't want to put anything too snarky. Because if you're snarky back, then people will villainize you. That's why I try not to, like, clap back with replies. I usually try and just be trying jokey back. Kind of like how we were talking about earlier. You don't want to quote unquote make an example of somebody. Debating or arguing isn't worth. Okay, I think the white is a nice touch. You can't really see it, but it's a nice touch. Hmm, it probably look better if, like, the cascading lines connecting the diamonds to the top were white. That would look a lot better. Okay, I think I want to add some tiny, tiny dots. Like that. No, I can't be snarky. I said I can't be snarky. If I get snarky, then that's how I get hay watchers, okay? If you are just nice all the time, then people don't have a reason to be mean to you. Or justify being mean to you. Right? I feel like I can be a bit bitchy or a bit snarky when I'm in stream because I know most of you guys know I'm kidding. But with like comments or Twitter threads or replies, it's so easy to misconstrue tone. Like I know when I read everything, I read it in a negative tone. Because I just immediately think people don't like me. And that's called social conditioning. So I try not to pop off in comments. I posted the same clip on YouTube Shorts last night, right? And my shorts do alright. Some do well, some don't. And it got 500 views in 30 minutes and like 2 comments. And like the comments were obviously like... Ironically Baxi Gaming. I think one of them was like, turn hard left and drift. <laughs> and I chuckled when I saw it. I was like, oh that's good. I see what you're doing. That's good. There we go. I think this one's done. Oh, we're at 211? Fuck. Um, I think I literally started this ornament 30 minutes ago. I think I literally started it at 30 minutes ago. Hmm. Well, I think the prediction was... Oh, also, I had to get an ad break. So I wasted a minute. So I think I did get this done in 30. Get fucked, doubters! I'm shilling for the believers today. 30 minutes? Yes. Right on the dots. Why are you sagging? Just don't doubt. You have to believe me. Let's get a close-up of this one. Let's see. We've gotten... Three ornaments done so far. Very nice.
very cute. After the next ornament, I'll get a snack. Because I have yogurt today. The next one I have to oh like there's one right here. Oh. Hmm. I kinda wanna do one. Where? I have a row of large circles, and then I do medium, and then smaller, and smaller up around the whole ornament like that. I think that's what I'll do for this one. I still haven't listened to WAP in its entirety, so I don't know any of the references you're making, hon. I am literally clueless. Okay, let's do red for this one. Let's just do red. I think I have spaced these almost perfectly. Yes, I know what WAP stands for. I'm not going to say it, though. Nice try. Mods Band Crystal. I'm not no dumbass bitch. One day, I'm going to, like, not jokingly say Mods Band somebody and somebody's going to get clapped and then they're going to cry. <laughs> Stands for warm apple pie, surely. That's what it is, clueless. Dude, I spaced this out like perfectly. Holy. Should I go pro? Should I make an art channel and never stream on it? Huh? streams will be making a comeback in January. I just don't have a lot of time this month. Because I'm working on my friend's presence, that's why. And I'm kind of burnt out on painting. <laughs> Mods, attack! <laughs> yeah, because if you don't have mods on other channel, you technically have moderator in your own channel. So if you stream yourself, that counts as mod hours, I think. Yeah, what's the story about your name? Hopefully it's not sus. Okay, so now I'm gonna do slightly smaller circles.
Oh, you know what's funny, Crystal? You know, Emmy Beef in chat, she thought you on Twitter was my actual alt account, because the profile picture, I think. Because she typed in chat yesterday, she's like, oh my god, I thought Crystal on Twitter was your alt. And I was like, no way. Oh my god, it's so funny. Oh my god, no way. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Are you fine with Crystal then? Every other chat calls you Dino? I mean, okay. I think the reason why I... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, let me be honest. Whenever I, like, welcome new chatters and I ask preferred pronouns or nicknames, I do it by default, and I I feel bad whenever I do fuck up. I think it's because with pronouns, I usually just default to they, right? And then when I look at people's usernames, I look at the second half. So, I'm sorry. Don't cancel me. Please. Makes you feel special? Oh, that's cute. I, oh, I think another reason why is because Dino sounds childish. It sounds childish. I think that's probably why I defaulted to... Crystal? Because... I think it's fine when people have, like, silly usernames, but it's just kind of weird saying them all the time, you know? Can I get Geo? I like Giorgio, though! It's fun to say. I can do Geo, though. I have a friend named Geo, that's why it's weird for me. I really want to get dino chicken nuggets. I've been like super tempted, but I don't need them. I could put them in the grocery budget, but I do not need them. My friends could so call me something horrible as a nickname and I'd be fine with it. I think you're being a pushover. Don't be a pushover, Times. Don't be doing that shit. Like, if I was like, can I call you dumbass? Would you be like, okay. <laughs> You'd be like, okay, Megan. <laughs> okay, this one is not looking as nice as I thought. I remember I almost corrected you. Fuck, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just DOM. Unironically, okay, dumbass. <laughs> Wait, I don't think I should do that though. I might, I might get clapped for harassment. I don't know if Twitch staff would like that. Twitch staff, I am kidding. I am joking. I would never call a chatter of mine dumbass, unless it's playful banter. Would that be considered, like, emotional abuse? Like, calling somebody, like, a really bad name? I think that would be abuse, Sag. Anyway, back to work. <laughs> yeah, only jokes here. Of course. Twitch staff, we are trolling, we are joking. I'm gonna move this out of frame, because that looks weird. Right here is better. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about, Mac. You're exactly right. Because, like, I was thinking about that. I was like, uh... I think it's a lot more impactful on children. Yeah. Obviously, it's still impactful as an adult. But with kids, when they're still developing, it's gonna, like, leave a more lasting impact. Is what I mean. Okay, next row, slightly smaller circles. I think the reason why I will playfully call people dumbass is because that's what my parents would call me a lot. Both with, like, malintent, but also, like, playfully. So, I just learned it from them. 
I know I do name call when I banter, but don't chatters don't ever feel like I'm calling out directly. Like there will obviously be times where I do have to call people out directly, but I will never do so in an intentionally mean way. Like I'm not gonna put anybody on blast. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying, Mac. I I've like heard stories from people and also done my own reading and I think I understand that like physical abuse is bad and not good, but emotional abuse can do the same if not more damage to somebody. I like this little bubbles. I think it's cute. Looks like scales. No, okay, going back to ugly, I always have to explain this. I don't think... Okay, okay. <laughs> it's because, like, I'm the type of person to where, like, connotation and meanings have a lot... They stick with me, right? Like, I don't think I could ever... I don't think I've ever, like, intentionally meant to call myself ugly. Because I understand that there's already- there's always gonna be someone who's gonna be attracted to you, right? But there's still, like, a standard to be, like, conventionally attractive. Like, I don't think I'm ugly. I, I think I'm cute, but I'm not pretty. Like, there's- It's because, like, I'm so hung up on, like, the actual meaning of the word. So... Like, I'm confident in myself, like, I like how I look, but... I understand that not everybody's gonna be attracted to me. I, I was literally thinking about this this morning. Um. Um. Because, like, you know the cliche comment be like, Oh my god, woman streamer only gets money because she's a woman. But it's like, if you look at a lot of my, like, top donators or top cheers or whatever, they're like, they're girlies or envies or queer people. Like, I don't think I attract the male gaze. Like, you call me a pick me, but... I'm not what they're talking about. <laughs> but that's because she's a dog and knows nothing. Oh my god. You guys are so mean. Don't do that shit. Don't do that. That's so mean. I would never call my cat or dog ugly. I would never. That's so mean. Like, I remember... Um, what you call it? Like... I call my sister stinky playfully, right? But we mean it jokingly. Like, we would never call each other, like, ugly or anything. So let's be honest, my sister's cute. My sister's cute. Well, what happened to your guys' badges? Huh, that's weird. Sorry, are you guys- Okay, look at the chat. Oh, look at the chat. Wait, no, look at the chat. Can you guys see your badges? Oh wait, they're back. They they didn't show up on screen for me. That was weird. That was weird. <laughs> My brother making Jacobs. <laughs> Not knowing I'm by. Lomao. <laughs> Lomao. I had to refresh. Okay, then that was a Twitch glitch. Oh yeah, they're back on my TV now. That was weird. That was weird. Yeah, I got scared. I get scared when I don't see badges. I feel like I compare people to someone ugly instead of directly calling them ugly. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, you're so mean. You know, I do call, like, any animal I see baby. Like, oh, come here, baby. I think it's cute. I remember, I went to my friend's house. This was years ago. And they were getting mad at me. They are like, why are you calling my pet baby? And I'm like, because it's just a pet name. Like, it's cute. And they were like, call it by its name. It's like, well, I don't know its fucking name yet. <laughs> Tend to move a TikTok live. I mean, I feel like this stream would do decent on TikTok. Like, POV ornament making. Okay, what should I add to this one? Hmm. I kind of like it like this. I think I want to add, like, white bubbles. Like, white circles to fill in. Or maybe I'll just- I think I'll fill it in completely with the white. That way you can only see through the center part. I'll do that.
Okay, I do think it's weird when people talk like a baby to their pets. I think it's fucking weird. I think it's weird. Or like how people baby talk to babies, it's like... If the baby was like able to communicate, they would just call you fucking stupid. And it's cringe when you do baby talk. It's just my thoughts. Okay, this white is working. Wait, we did start a prediction for this one. Oopsie. Uh, well, I'm almost done with it, so I would have gotten... I started this at 2.15. Megan, find something that isn't cringe challenge. Oh, no. Dude. I've gotten grilled by my friends before. Because they're like, Megan, you say everything is cringe. They were like, that's your whole character arc. And I'm like, well... True. <laughs> Don't call me out. It's because, like, I'm a very critical person, okay? What is something that's not cringe? Um, I think holding hands isn't cringe. I think it's a very cute and sweet thing. I think I've never not liked PDA. Like, you know how people would get grossed out when people, like, hold hands or put arms over the shoulder or, like, make out, let's say, during passing period? I was never bothered by that. I just thought it was cute. I was like, oh, they have somebody they like. Imagine. Could it be me? Yeah, it's saying cringe, cringe. Let's bring that TikTok back. That's the one thing you've always hated? I've never minded it. I think it's because, like, my parents are also very affectionate, so, like, I was used to seeing at home. So I was never, like, bothered by it. I think it's because I was jealous. I was like, I wish that were me. <laughs> do a stream where you can't say cringe. Should we do another I'm not allowed to say this word stream? That stream went crazy. Because, like, I want to do more challenge streams, but I feel like challenge streams are only good if there's, like, some type of stake or incentive. And I can't afford it, so... <laughs> Either my parents were affectionate, they'd be like, what the fuck, Sag? It's interesting because, like... I never used to be like all touchy feely. Like I never used to like hold hands with my parents like crossing the street. I never used to like giving hugs to people. But in my late teens and I guess early adulthood now, like I definitely like physical comfort. Like I, I like hugs. I remember during passing periods sometimes I would like link arms with my friends and that was cute. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, Mac. That's like, the only thing I'm kind of concerned of is like, if I'm no longer incel and I ever have like, a GF or whatever, it's like, what will that dynamic be like, you know? Okay, the white is kind of streaky, but it works. <laughs> I like making other people uncomfortable. You're literally self-reporting. Huh? How to make snow globes. I saw a TikTok of somebody making a snow globe and it was fucking sick. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think my love languages is physical touch and then... What's it called when you do things for them? It, action? No. Service? No, that sounds weird. <laughs> uh, guys, I'm incel. I don't know these terms anymore. Favors? Is that what it's called? TikTok is actually turning into B-Real? Yeah. I've never taken a B-Real because I feel like all of my posts would be just me sitting at my computer. And I remember the argument I heard. It's like, well, the app is supposed to, like, encourage you to, like, go out and do shit. But it's like... The, I can't go outside. I mean, I can, but, like, I have limited energy and it's like, I have no money. So it's like, what, what am I gonna do? Walk around the park every day? <laughs> I mean, I have been going on walks more, so... I do not like how in order to see a beaver, you have to post one. And I'm like, I want to see what people are doing, but I don't want to post. I don't want to do that shit. And like, what happens if I'm like out and about and the beaver goes off and then I'm like, oh shit, I gotta take a picture. But then I D-O-X myself and it's like, that's scary. Because like... You gotta be careful with that type of shit. You don't want people to know where you are, you know? And I mean everybody. No matter if you're an influencer or whatever. How is this Christmas music? How is this Christmassy? No way, Titans, that's fucking crazy. Dude, I'm sorry. Dude, that's insanity. I hate people. I'm sorry to hear that. That's why, like, I'm super cautious. Oh, you're memeing? Oh. oh I, was, I was like, holy moly. Because, like, that's what I'm kind of scared of. Is like just accidentally leaking something. So, uh, dude, that's that fucking scared the shit out of me. Yeah, guys, he was joking. He was joking. I forgot that sarcasm can't be conveyed. Well, it sounded serious. I love how everybody's just immediately concerned. You know, we're all nice. We're all nice here, right? I think it was done. I like this one. I like how it's filled in. A lot less negative space. I mean, Titans, I was thinking about it. I don't- if that actually happened, I don't think you should ever share that shit. Because, <laughs> like, you never want to encourage people to do it again. Reminds me of Toad. I guess, like, the bubble shapes, maybe. Okay, it's gonna close up. Oh, I'm old. My knees. Watches, but they've never chatted. They only watch sometimes. They've never chatted, so you guys will never find them. Mm, where should I put this one? Near the tippy top. See, 
See, that's the one thing I don't like about, like, the edgy culture or the edgy humor. Is that sometimes it could be the actual harm, you know? Sorry, check in an email. Omegle's funny to watch, but not to do- Oh my god. I remember loving Omegle videos, but I could never do it myself. I'd be so scared. I don't want to get traumatized. Okay, let's see. We have four ornaments done. We're at 2.40 up time. How much time do I want to spend? I'm honestly going faster than I thought I would, which is good. I'm going to get some water and then another ornament. games with BC because I don't want to be called names or slurs. Not scary. Oh, this is neon green. I don't want neon green. gonna pour paint in. <laughs> Slack Nickelodeon slab. Oh yeah, Mario Kart Chat goes crazy sometimes. It's usually just little kids and they're hilarious. Cause they're just being kids. Because I feel like most kids online are like the most wholesome thing, or they're just little shitheads. There's no in-betweens. This one, I'll just shake the paint on the inside and then I'll paint the outside still. Okay, these ornaments are cheap as shit because I, I bent this cat. No cat, I bent the cat. Okay, saved. Hope she don't leak. No leakers. Wait, look. I was kind of like peeking through. See, look, this part is fully covered. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Let's hope it dries this way. Hmm. That looks kind of cool.
I think I'll do I'll do wood texture. Because like this shape is very natural, right? I got scared. I thought I I because I have a white carpet under me. Uh I would have gotten black, but the white matches my room. And like I'm I'm fine if I do spill paint on it, but I want to avoid it at all costs. Peace I do Discord when never. Like I said, a million subs. A million subs. And I'll do it. Okay, so I'm gonna outline these kind of more natural shapes. I would love a Discord, but it's so much work to moderate. Exactly. See, you get it. Because, like, I, I've said this many times, but I'm only going to have a Discord when I can pay somebody to moderate it. So that ain't happening until the stream really pops off, right? And I think part of the fun of streaming is, like, not knowing too much about your streamer. And it's kind of fun to learn more things about them as you watch them, right? And I feel like with Discord servers sometimes... I, I feel like I would definitely overshare. And I don't want to, like, cross that boundary. Understand that when people the reason why a lot of small streamers do make discords is because it'll make your viewers feel more connected with you and then they're more likely to watch your stream so I get it it makes sense but just not for my current streaming plan it's probably not the safest for my mental health too like I'm already perpetually online but I don't want to be online even more Cool, just outlining it. I can mod, but I don't have money to pay you, you know. I don't want you to be unpaid. And then you make a twit longer saying, I never paid you, and then I get cancelled. That's not good. Hmm, I don't know what I should do on the rest of this. Because I kind of like the texture it has now. Maybe I can draw like mountains. That way it looks like a range. Let's draw let's make it look like a faux map. So right now, I'm just trying to outline wherever there's, like, darker paint. Kind of making, like, organic shapes. Is this scribble knots? Maybe. Yeah, it is.
You know the cliche thing of, oh, my dog ate my homework? My rabbit, like, nibbled on my homework one time. Like, it, it, because I remember I would do homework in the living room, and it would come up to my desk, and then it would, like, nibble on the paper and, like, try and yank it out of my hands. And there was one time it tore up, like, the whole corner. <laughs> Okay, I think this one's done. I don't really want to add too much to it because I kind of like the, the natural, organic look it has. So I think this one's done. New ornament done. It's got a close up. We're speed running now. Why the music stop? Huh? It was just actually muted in the video. That's weird. It was Minecraft music. I guess they got DMC or something. Weird. Is this 2 p.m.? No way. Could be. I don't know. It didn't say. It just said Animal Crossing. But if so, that would have been perfect because it's nearly 2. Okay, next ornament. Well, this one, rich. It's weird shape. It's like kind of... It's not perfectly spherical. It looks like it got like pulled at the end. Like it has a bulbous shape. Even though it is a bulb. Hmm. Okay, I think for this one, I want to run lines all the way around. And then I want to do like a square pattern. I just realized there's a dividing line on all these ornaments, and I could have used that as a guideline this whole time. Because it's split down the middle. It's very hard to see, though. Like a baseball.
kind of does look like a baseball. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do... Oh, I already smeared. Damn it. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna do, like, one more line going down the center of each. I gotta be careful where I touch this. Oh, I think an interesting look. Instead of doing, like, rectangles, I can do straight line and then curve the lines as I go up. I'll do that. But I won't draw the line in the center. Oh no, it's so crooked. Wait, look, look, look. And they spin, it goes up and then down. Oh, dude, it's so crooked. This one's also tricky because I don't have enough time for the lines to like dry in between. I'm doing the line so they connect to the center point. if these guidelines erase because they'll be get redrawn over anyway. So no biggie.
Now that fills in so much of the space. It's nice. Maybe I can put gemstones on this one. Like do a, a medium and then a small. Just to kind of like accent the center section a bit more. You know what I have to do more of though? Run some more ads because guys, we are three hours in the stream. So it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads, but you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have an Amazon Prime sub available. After the ad, we're going to keep working. I think we'll do a handful of more ornaments, depending on how I feel. <laughs> so if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Easy clap. Anyway, we'll see some of you guys in a few get boomed also if you're new here follow the channel you get to type in chat easy we did get one new follower today ain't no way I think the best feeling after like a long day of work or school is finally taking your shoes off. It's got to be the best feeling in the whole world. Like knowing that, oh, it's finally time for rest. I mean, I assume the people who wear shoes in the house can't relate, but I promise you it's the best thing. Like letting your toesies breathe. Oh my god. Very nice. This looks insane. Okay, I think I'm gonna glue the rhinestones on now. That way they can dry a little bit. So let's pick up the colors that I need. Dude, this looks crazy. This looks like elegant. Okay, which ones? Do I need? Let's use a different cut.
Yeah, I think the people who wear shoes inside their house are crazy. It's just so unsanitary as well. It's not it. I do have inside shoes, but they're only for inside use because I need it to like support my feet. But I don't wear my inside shoes outside and I don't wear my outside shoes inside. Okay, I need four more gems. Would you guys watch me do a gem sorting stream? Would you guys watch that? <laughs> Dude, that's probably boring as shit. Cause I think I'm gonna have to sort out these gems because it's gonna bug me. Yes? Well, you're a fucking sip, Max, so y your opinion does not count in this question. It literally does not count. <laughs> White people said. <laughs> you know, it's true, though. A wholesome simp, of course. I should get bigger tweezers. Dropped it. Gem sorting stream. I think I'd only do that type of shit on like TikTok. I feel like it might actually do well. Because that's the type of people content people expect, right? I'm oh, sorry, I'm not doing it on cam, I'm sorry. So we must send. Okay, the trick is you put the tiniest dab of glue, then you spread it out. Can you talk about what's your order? Um, if they have breakfast all day and like a, a sausage breakfast crunch wrap, that'd be great. And if they don't have breakfast, then... I'll just take a regular crunch wrap with no tomato. Thank you. Okay, they're not straight, but that's fine. Because none of us are straight anyway. Got them. The gems aren't sliding nearly as much. Imagine using less glue helps solve the problem. Who knew? I think it's because I'm trying to spread it thin with the toothpick now instead of globbing it on to the gem. 
It's also difficult because since I'm working on a non-flat surface, they're still gonna slide no matter what I do. Two away from Suckle? Piece I do gasp, no way. Ain't no way. I do want to play Cold of the Lamb though. I think I'm very close to beating that boss. Any primers? Will you play today? Probably. I just have to like ask my sister first. Cause I prepped dinner last night. So I just have to cook tomorrow night. So yeah, if we hit it, we can do both of the lamb tonight. Okay, we have the gems glued on. Belts around the center. Now I'm going to do the same thing up top, on bottom. Okay. I have to hold it like this because I'm trying to not have my finger drag. What are these water sounds? I don't like it. What's for dinner? It's Alfredo. I made Alfredo from scratch and it's surprisingly easy. It's just you melt down butter with milk or cream and then you simmer it. And then once it simmers, you gradually add grated fresh Parmesan, keyword fresh Parmesan. Cause I think for authentic Alfredo sauce, it's literally just really fresh parmesan and then pasta water and that's how you get the sauce but for like american alfredo you add the cream but it was really good it was really oily though because <laughs> it had a lot of cheese in it but it was still really good it was hard not to like eat too many portions you know like after because i i purposely bought smaller plates um because, like, you know, you know when you go to a buffet and you get a small plate so you fill your plate less? It's kind of like that. That way, when we do do, like, sit-down dinners, I don't serve myself more. So I had, like, two small plates and it was really good. And I also mixed in shrimp and spinach. That way I got some veggies in. That way my sister would eat them. Doc was like, you need to get more fiber. And I'm like, okay, Doc. Minecraft? I hate Minecraft. <laughs> the music is nice, though. I will admit. Okay, right now I'm doing the bottom. It's all going to the center point. Yeah, my lines are getting not as clean because I can't... Because the way I draw is I use my wrist to stabilize my grip. So if I'm just drawing in the air like this, it's very hard for me to keep a good grip. You 
it is very difficult. I think this one is done. This one goes crazy. Very elegant. Thank you. today and maybe we can do more for the Santa watch stream because for Santa watch um, depending on when Santa gets here you know since I'm on the West Coast and then East Coasters are three hours ahead hopefully Santa gets here by 9 p.m. so I think I'll start stream like midday and I have to fill like four or five hours so Still looks nice, so yeah. We'll, we'll just put it on the non-crooked side. We'll hide the bad side. I think we should put this one. There's not a lot of bed on this tree, I just realized. The move is on bed. There you go. I'm trying to get it to like hang up higher. That didn't really work. <laughs> okay, well, it's there on the bottom. It's on the bottom. Sorry, I just realized I was off cam. Santa, go Santa goes to the East Coast first, yeah. I mean, hopefully he gets here by 9 p.m. my time, though. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, so chat, I was. Let's turn this camera off. I'm got all this. Junk. <gasps> oh my god, the camera's here. No. <laughs> what is that? Oh wait, we had calligraphy, so we do get to do calligraphy today. Uh, I think we can call it here. I got six ornaments done. I got a quarter of the way done. So, I think we can end stream here. It is not over yet, though, because we didn't have calligraphy, so we can do calligraphy really quick. And then head out. Um, this was 2022 holiday stream number two, one and done. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing gingerbread houses, so it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna make mine look very pretty. I got some really cool shaped sprinkles that I'm. Re I've been like itching to do it all week ever since I bought the sprinkles. So we'll we'll be doing that tomorrow. And then... I'm gonna clean up my space a little bit and then I'll whip out the journal. I gave up on my house? Damn. Well, try again tomorrow. Try, try, try again.
we don't like quitters. Yeah, didn't you say you were gonna make a mansion? You lied. Now you gotta keep the little ones occupied. All of my family, all my cousins, they're either like 30 or actual babies. Because my mom, she was an oops baby, so her siblings are like 10, 13 years older than her. I didn't even use my paintbrushes today. Sad. So, um... <clears throat> that, that's why, like, all my cousins are funny kind of age. Like, I can't... I can't relate to them at all. Okay. So, let's change our title. Because we're farming. Same with you, yeah. Isn't it like family gatherings are so weird? Like I usually just kept to myself or with my sister. Because it's like, how am I gonna interact with a 30-year-old? And then babies are gross. I mean they're cute and fun, but I don't like being around. Hey you guys know the drill? Anybody who subscribes, cheers bits or donates to get some name written, or you can use your channel points and I'll write your name for free so today we had mac redeem so we can do mac and that is our only name of the day so if you want me to write your name all you gotta do is use your channel points I mean, three and a half hours for six ornaments, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's about 30-ish minutes per. That's pretty good, right? That means if I sold them, they'd be like 10 bucks each? So if you charge 20 per hour. We had not Mac. How did that look at that camera angle? I kind of like that camera angle. Like if I rotated it. Oh, I can't transform it. Like that way? Oh, that looks weird. I don't like that. That angle looks whack. Yeah, I kind of like this angle. It's kind of nice. It's kind of like the angle you'd see if you're copying off your classmate's test, you know? Looking at it from the side. <laughs> okay, chatters, last call. Last call, if you want me to write your name, all you gotta do is donate or use your channel points. Last call. And last call. Also, no raid. Nobody's live. Let's go, let's go! Any- Mac, you're such a troll. <laughs> Thank you, Mac, for redeeming. Let's write your name again. <laughs> let's do orange. Because Mac is a beaming ray of sunshine. Smiley face. Yeah, I kind of like this angle of the camera for calligraphy.
Oh shit, I fucked up the O. Okay, we're good. Last call now. Last call. It says rainbows out of stock, yeah, because we can only do one rainbow name every stream. So if you want to get it, you gotta be here right when stream starts, because usually Potato or Luigi redeems it right away. <laughs> so you gotta be in offline chat or have notifications smashed, turned on. Yeah, because, like, if I did rainbow with unlimited redemptions, then <clears throat> it would take too long. Red? Okay, thank you for redeeming. New page. Thank you for stalling the stream. Oh, while we're waiting, if everybody watching, if you haven't already, make sure you've filled out the naughty or nice quiz. Results will be calculated on stream next week. It takes less than five minutes. Go fill it up. We've already had a good handful of people do it. So if you haven't, do it now. It needs to be done by next Thursday. So do it now. Get it out of the way. I appreciate everybody who's participated so far already. Oh, it's two eyes in Geo. The double letters always throw me off. Give me a Georgia redeem. Okay, last call. Actually, last call now. Anybody else? Any redeemers? Any Oilers? Nah. Dude, the music was weird. My sub runs out this week? Damn. Well, you know what you need to do. Okay, let's end it here, guys. I would like to thank everybody who chatted, who watched. We also got a new follower today. Let's fucking go. I will be live again tomorrow, probably at 11. We're going to be doing gingerbread houses. My, I'm going to make the best gingerbread houses you guys have ever seen. Also, if we'll do a donation incentive for tomorrow. If we hit... Hmm. How much should it cost to smash a gingerbread house? I want you guys to think, and then we'll talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> How much should it cost to ruin my day? <laughs> ten, ten dollars. No fucking way, bro. The kit costs ten dollars. I would be net zero. I'd be net zero profit. That's D U N. That's D U N. Ten subs. But that's still ten times two point five. So that's twenty five bucks. That's not worth. I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. I did buy two kits. That way, if I had to destroy it, I could get another one. Anyway, we'll think about it. I'll think about it. We can we can make a... We can handshake on it tomorrow. Wait, let's turn off this cam. I don't need this cam on now. We'll make a deal tomorrow. So think about it. Think of your propositions. Big Corpa. Okay. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you, everybody who chatted, who lurked. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. I had a good time. We got six ornaments done. We'll do more next week for the naughty, or no, for the Santa wait stream. Santa watch stream. Anyway. Um, last thing before I go, if you're new here and you aren't following, follow the channel. Um, you get to type a chat and you get cool emotes. Wowie. And if you are following, make sure your notifications turn on. That way you get pinged when I go live again. And if you look at the pin message in chat, you guys can see, follow my Twitter. You get updates about stream. Wowie wow. Okay. I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.